Hey, Riverwood, are you getting maybe a little dirt in your face? <laughs> yeah, I was reading in 2 Samuel about David and their Absalom has just conspired to take away his kingdom. And David is a little bit on the run, but he's on a journey. And along, uh, he's got his guards to the left and to the right of him. He's got his noble men. And as he's going on his journey, Shimei comes out of his house, cursing at him, throwing stones and throwing dirt. <laughs> and and despite all the protection that he has, uh, David just says, ignore him, just let him, let him go, let him speak his peace. But it, one, of the, one of the words that it says here, it, so David and his men continued going along the road while Shimei was going along the hillside opposite him, cursing as he went and throwing stones at him and showering him with dirt. The king and all the people with him arrived at their destination exhausted, and there he refreshed himself. You know, as I was reading that passage, I couldn't help but think that's the same tactic the enemy uses with us. Wants to throw the dirt of shame, the rocks of untruth. He wants to get us beaten down. Wants to have us turn and just engage in that. And, and those are all untruths, the things that want to distract us from our journey. And so I, my prayer for you, my encouragement for you today is to just ignore the words that you are getting from the evil one about yourself and trust keep walking that faith in faith as david did walk through that journey and fulfill your calling in fact we're going to talk about fulfilling callings and fulfilling our mission uh, this coming sunday so i hope you can be with us and i look forward to seeing you then